Hey, what's up guys? VR Gamer Dude here, and today we are going to be playing one of my favorite games of last year, but in VR. So, we are going to be taking a look at Hellblade Sinua's Sacrifice, and man, I cannot tell you how excited I was last week to see that VR support was added to this game, because it is absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. Great gameplay, awesome story, good graphics, everything I look for in a game, and now it's in VR. So let's get in there, let's grab a controller, let's sit our butts down, seated, and uh, let's play some Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. Okay, here we are, and I am just about to get started, but before we do, guys, this one is heavily narrative. I mean, this is probably one of the most narrative games I have seen in forever, so I am going to do my damnedest to keep my big mouth shut uh, as much as I can and let you guys kind of enjoy it and follow along with the story and the, and the little bit that we're going to play. I'm not going to play too much of this today, uh, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she doing she coming? That? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already they dead. They can feel you coming. Shh. coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? Is it hell? Look, up ahead. You see it too. You promised you could. Yes, it is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog, the place the Northmen call hell. Look around and you'll see them. The drowned, the sick, the slain. Here they lie, rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. But the dead don't always lie still here.
What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Runs far. Far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Indeed, I do have a part to play in this story. So I got to say that was one of the cooler presentations of opening credits I have seen in a VR title. So, um, all right, here we are in the game. Uh, now, like I said, uh, I won't uh, blab on during the, uh, the, the narrative parts here, but I do want to take a minute to just uh, address this game. I, I mean, absolutely gorgeous just truly stunning graphics uh the the, the narrative the the binaural audio is fantastic the voices in your head uh the continuing narrative in the game so uh i you know i just can't say enough good things about this now i have been playing this over the weekend i kind of started this video over just so you guys could kind of see it from the beginning here um, and, and I've gotten quite far into the game and let me tell you, as it progresses, it just gets more and more impressive. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and trudge on here. Um, and, uh, I'm going to shut up again. Oh. You have to take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use Do not eyes. forget my story, Cinema, because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down into deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there. Across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Nibelheim. 
Okay, so really cool, going to find that bridge of gold, but first I am going to jump into the settings here because I realized I just started playing this on my upstairs computer, and yes, um, I did not turn it to continuous turning. So, um, you know, you, you've got the third person perspective, but you can uh, still rotate the camera, which is good. Now, for those of you with motion sickness, even in third person perspective, I do recommend keeping that on the, uh, you know, 30, 45 degree snap angle. But me, I'm going to turn it off. You can also change the vertical and horizontal offset of the camera. Uh, you know, you got the, the, the combat camera focus and, you know, things like that. So definitely the, uh, the, the developers have given us ways to customize once again the movement, even in this third person game, to our liking. So thank you very much for that. All right. So we are back. Now, um, I might, you might have seen it on the video, I am getting some small performance dips. Uh, I am on my upstairs computer, that's an i5 with a 980 Ti, but downstairs with my i7 and 1070, it is butter smooth. So, alright. So cool. Oh my god, this is amazing. Life. Hunger's for us. There's my smooth turning. But she's not stopping. Not this time. Land of mist and fog. The old fool was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim. Of the darkness is in Helheim, and the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. Wow, just another breathtaking piece of scenery in this game. So Okay, um, we are going to plod on here um, and see if we can get into some of the combat of the game, which I think is coming up here pretty soon. Um, the bridge to heaven, the binaural audio in here. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead could cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Let's see if we can find that path. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. 
And I gotta say, I'm really liking all the uh, the Norse mythology and stuff that they're uh, weaving into the game. I had no idea it was kind of set in that, and you know, right now I'm totally into that series Vikings on uh, History Channel. So really cool. Well, <laughs> what's she waiting for? Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Boom. Found the door. There we go. I like these instant transitions to the cinema screen here as well. For the cutscenes. I think that's really smart. I'm not one of them. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Listen, the bastards catch me again. Never! The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Focus. Okay, so now this is uh, what I found to be one of the major parts of the game here. So every time we get to one of these gates uh, that's blocking our journey, we find a new rune here and we have to survey the area uh, to find a match in the environment for that rune. And when you get close, you're going to see all these things start lightening up. And that's when you really want to kind of start to look around and see if you can find a pattern match for that. Now, um, I'm going to make this pretty quick and simple because I've already played it. Boom, there's our pattern match. So, oops, you'll find it. I'm going to finish focusing there. Look towards the gate. There we go. And now our gate should be open. So, very... Very cool. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's oh, I'm going through it. It worked. It's safe. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My oh, cool lightning. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Man, it's a long way down. You know, even in a third-person game like this, just, you know, having the ability to look around in the environment and see the scale of everything is just us. breathtaking. She always tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that. Not a fan of heights. Yep. You can't just wish things away. Now, I will tell you though, man, playing this and seeing this work so well, I'm gonna say it right here, right now, where is my full Tomb Raider VR game? Because that would be amazing. Just saying. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, 
the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Alright, let's go see if we can bargain with Hela, maybe. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. finally see a little combat and man let me tell you the combat in this game is just satisfying the detail on that model is insane Taste my blade. So like I said a minute ago, the combat in here is so satisfying. I mean, you've got definite ways to combine your, your light and, and, and heavy attacks and... Uh, no! No, this is nearly the end. Gotcha. Definitely want to time the blocks and your parries here. Oh, now we got two. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. These guys I can't beat. mud effect. I forgot about that. That is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen that done in a game, but that is amazingly, amazingly cool to look at. spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. 
All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. Okay, I think we are going to go ahead and cap it here. We've got our next two objectives there to get through the gate to Helheim. So, you know, guys, I can't say enough good things about Hellblade Senua's sacrifice. I mean, this is absolutely breathtaking so if you have a compatible vr headset i am going to throw a link for you in the description go as fast as you can grab a copy of this i highly doubt you're going to be disappointed but for me that's going to do it this is vr gamer dude signing off y'all peace